out of control. We've heard that a lot when talking about Toyota lately. More than 8 million cars recalled for accelerator-related problem, problems. But did they get all of the ones with the problems? Not if you ask Ted James. This is where his wife's Prius ended up. She was seriously injured when the car shot up to nearly 100 miles an hour. Like we said, she was driving a 2005 Prius. It's not part of the accelerator recall yet. He's taken his case to Toyota, to Congress, and beyond, moving way past consumer to Crusader. Ted James joins us live from Denver. And I guess, Ted, first of all, I want to ask, how's your wife doing? Well, she lives in constant back pain. She's up at Eagle right now teaching uh, ESL students, and she probably took four Advil this morning and laid on ice packs and is getting through the day. Mm. So what have, what's been going through your mind? What's your thought process been like when you've seen case after case after case come before the public about these cars uh, that should have been fixed and these accidents and these deaths that are being reported? Well, <clears throat> there's four words that can sum, or sum it up. Deliberate deception, dozens of deaths. There's a growing body of evidence it could be interpreted to support the hypothesis that there was deliberate deception on both the part of Toyota and NHTSA, and it's led to dozens of deaths. And I know you've done your homework, and you've got the stacks and stacks of paperwork to prove it. Do you finally feel like somebody is going to hear your case now, and have you heard from anybody uh, since this has all come about? Oh yes, I've heard from a lot of people, but the bottom line is that Toyota needs to um, retrofit all drive-by-wire vehicles that they've sold since 2002. This is approximately 32 million vehicles with the brake override system that they're talking about installing on all their new vehicles. That was the oversight that they made when they went to this new technology of drive-by-wire instead of having mechanical parts that uh, connected your gas pedal to your uh, engine and they need to retrofit all of these until they do we're going to continue to see these uh, deaths from Toyota unintended acceleration you know if only one tenth of one percent of the 32 million vehicles actually exhibit this malfunction that's still 32,000 vehicles out on our roadways right now that could potentially kill someone now, I've heard people on the news say that you're more likely to be struck by lightning or hit by a school bus than you are to have a runaway acceleration event in your Toyota. But the point is, if you end up killing other people in your Toyota, how are you going to live with yourself? You have definitely done your homework. Um, as you are listening to the hearings today, and I know you're paying close attention, what is it that you want to hear from, from Akia Toyota? A and could there be something said that would somehow give you justice, hope, encouragement, anything? Well, I'm not going to hold my breath, but what I want to hear him say is that Toyota is going to swallow the bitter pill and spend whatever it takes, and it could be as much as $100 billion, to install this safety feature on all the vehicles that are out on the road. That's what needs to happen. And I want him to understand that the reason he's testifying today is because his staff chose to ignore my warnings over three and a half years ago. I made 10 customer experience phone calls where I pleaded with the employees to try to go around the legal department and let executives higher up in the company know that their efforts were being sabotaged, that people were going to die, and that the reputation of Toyota was going to be ruined. Three and a half years ago, I predicted what is unfolding today. And in fact, on November 12th, I sent this fax to my U.S. House Representative Jared Polis. I said, I need Mr. Polis's help in identifying which congressional subcommittee has oversight responsibilities for NHTSA. I would like to initiate a congressional inquiry to investigate allegations that employees of NHTSA we're in collusion with executives of Toyota USA to cover up defects regarding unintended acceleration. So folks, don't blame the government. You can blame me.
I'm the customer and the consumer that in initiated these hearings. Ted James, we're very sorry to hear about what happened to your wife, and uh, we will continue to follow your case uh, as uh, things develop with Toyota. Really appreciate your time. Thank you. Well, Mr. Toyota, his name, his heritage, his company, his nation's pride, all on the line today in Washington. Foreign country, foreign culture, foreign language. I don't know. You think he's a little bit nervous?